the bottom line of a bank. How to use profitability models within banks. Once you have actually built a nice profitability model and you know your exact profitability per client, per product, per transactions, whatever your goal was in achieving with your profitability model, how is it being used? Wh where is it used within the organization? Well, there are different answers for that. The logical place is somewhere within your planning and control cycle. It's usually driven out of finance from a business control perspective or from a financial control perspective to really use the outcomes of these models. And those outcomes can be used in various ways. I'll try to pick upon a few of them. First of all is, of course, product pricing. As we've said before, product pricing of a banking product is usually determined by market interest rates and all the capital costs that are involved in those products. However, the operational costs are also a very big item on it and are the only ones that you can control. So if you really want to make sure that you price your products right, you want to make sure what the cost price also from an operational perspective is of those products so that you can include them in your pricing discussion. So one of the areas to use your profitability model is in your product pricing strategies. The second area is customer segmentation. Once you know which products or which customers are actually most profitable, then that's one of the areas that you can focus on in segmenting your customers. How do you make sure that your non-profitable customers get more profitable? And how do you make sure that your profitable customers, you get more of those? So seeing that kind of information really helps you to attract and aim at the right customers. Customer segmentation is a second area to look at. Thirdly, risk assessment. So as we all know, uh, risk models are a very important part in determining uh, whether or not or what kind of pricing will be done in granting products out to different clients. So you might as well include the information of your profitability model in your risk modeling anyway. So that's this, the third part that you want to look into. Then the fourth element is investment decisions. So if you would like to make an investment decision in a certain branch, in a certain region or whatever, you want to make sure that you make the right decisions on where the profitability lies within your organization. Is that indeed in a specific region? Is that in a specific product range? Is that in a specific uh, customer group? You want to know where the profitability is so you make the right decisions. So the fourth area is investment decisions as an area what to use out of your profitability modeling. Capital allocation, like I said before in the beginning of this clip, is capital allocation is the most important cost driver for your profitability of your bank. So you want to make sure that you allocate your capital in the right way. And having the profitability model in place m ensures you that you make the right decision on allocating your capital. A little bit similar to investment decision, but of course this is from a little bit of a different view. Strategic planning, so long-term strategy, where do you go forward as a bank? Are you going to move to more consumer banking or more to business banking? What is the area that you want to move into? And what are the differentiating profitabilities that you have within these two areas? Is it a very homogeneous part when in your, on your business banking? Probably not because you have very small businesses, very large businesses. Or is the consumer, the retail part, more interest for you? You want to make sure where your profitability lies out of your profitability modeling. Another where you could use your profitability modeling for is performance measurement. That could be in different areas, could be a manager for a certain product type, could be a manager for a certain branch, could be a manager for certain customers. You want to make sure that they know their performance as well and performance uh, at the end of the day is being measured at the bottom line of a bank. So bottom line is where the profitability lies. So using your profitability models to measure performance on different areas on your bank is uh, very important and also for improving them. So if you see difference between different regions, different branches, you could stick those branches together and see, okay, what are you doing differently that helps you getting more profitability than I have so that you can really improve and learn from each other. And if you don't measure that, then it's very difficult to improve anyway. Marketing and sales. So we talked about pricing. We talked about segmentation. Regulatory compliance. There's a lot of regulatory elements where you would need your profitability model as well. So 
to sum it up, various and a lot of reasons to use profitability modeling within banks. And if you have any questions, please reach out and we can help you with building those profitability models.